What's up, guys? It's Lefty here with your daily sports betting picks for Thursday, September 9th. And we are talking NFL today. I've already made some NFL bets. And how this is going to work is I'm going to post the NFL bets or any other bets I make um, from other sports in the Betting Network Discord community within the uh, Best Bet channel. Um, the NFL bets uh, you see on screen or that you will see on screen, uh, some of them were made about a week ago. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to post any NFL bets I'm making in the Best Bet channel within the Discord community. Um, and then I'm just going to highlight the ones I like the most for the daily play uh, video breakdowns. Um, these daily play videos will always be my favorite plays of that day. And I'll give a breakdown on why. Um, now, the tricky part is going to be line moves. A lot of times I'm making NFL bets earlier in the week. Um, so if you want to make sure you get down at the price, line, or total, or whatever um, that I'm betting it at, you'll want to join the uh, Discord community. It's 100% free. No card info. Link to join will be in the description. Um, or if you follow us on Instagram, um, you can click the link in the bio to join. Uh, and not just Discord either, uh, but our tech service as well. Um, and to be honest, you guys really should be following us on all platforms. And I'm not really one to brag. I don't do much like boasting or touting or anything. I don't think I do. Um, but the benefits of following along with what we're doing here at the Betting Network is really, you know, unmatched. I mean, first of all, it's free. Um, and then forget about the educational aspect within the Discord community because nobody really cares about learning or uh, that type of stuff. And then, you know, forget about me, you know, which some of you might uh, think I'm sharp or like if you've been following me, think I know sports betting. Well, I mean, I don't really know shit compared to what the people I have access to know. Um, you know, there's people, really sharp people um, that would pay a lot of money to get access to some of these groups that I get bets from. Um, I call them sources. I have a bunch of different arrangements or ways I get, uh, you know, their plays and I try to pass them along. Um, you know, uh, once I get them, um, it's all posted in the source plays channels within the discord community. You know, we have sources for college football, soccer, uh, MMA. I even have, um, a guy who only bets NFL props and he crushes them. He has a few on tonight's game, but all the sources I have, I've used for years. I know they're the real deal. Uh, do they win every single bet? No, um, nobody does, but they win long-term and, more importantly, it allows us to offer all sports. Uh, there's no chance I could handicap all these sports. You know, it's hard enough doing the sports I do do. Uh, so the sources allow me to take some sports off. Um, you know, a lot of these pick sellers who offer picks in every single sport, um, how deep do you think they're actually, you know, going um, researching each sport? You know, they're taking shortcuts somewhere or more likely just guessing. But uh, enough about all that. Let's get into today's play. So NFL kicks off tonight, and remember, guys, this is a long season. We've got 17 games uh, for the regular season, so you want to pace yourself. Don't go nuts, especially week one. You know, these lines have been up for months, and the value has already been extracted from these lines. It's, the lines have already been molded and shaped by sharp betters. Now, I normally tiptoe into week one. I don't go crazy, but I do have a fairly big position on Tampa Bay. Uh, and because it's week one, I don't have some deep analytical reasons on why, um, you know, I don't even have my own real power rating numbers yet uh, that I can fully trust because there's no, you know, season data yet. Uh, but early in the NFL season, there are other factors we can weigh in order to gain an edge. Uh, like, for example, most teams here um, have to struggle with a lot of moving pieces and chemistry is often an issue. Um, the Bucks might not have those issues as much as other teams. Uh, they return all 11 starters on offense and defense. So Brady has the same supporting cast as last year. And the defense that was really good last year, uh, that some might have considered a young group, is back this year in another year of experience. The Cowboys, on the other hand, um, they have 36 new players on their 53-man roster. Uh, the injury report is a mile long already. They have cluster injuries up front on the offensive line. Uh, with, of course, the big one being the all-pro guard, Zach Martin, who caught the COVID. He's going to miss the season opener. Uh, but maybe just as important but not named on this injury report is Lyle Collins, the right tackle for Dallas. He's dealing with neck stingers. 
uh, which are brutal. Anyone who's played football knows if you've ever had a uh, stinger, um, you can't just tough it out or play through it. Um, you know, they're brutal. Um, you know, it's like a nerve that goes up from your shoulder. To, it's like paralyzing. Um, and, you know, this pretty much sums up how it's been going for both teams. Almost at the exact moment, Dallas rules out their best offensive player or offensive um, guard. Um, the Bucks activate one of their best D linemen and, um, off COVID and Sue, uh, and he's going to be ready to go tonight. But um, it's not only Dak and the Cowboys offense that I think will be slow out the gate. Um, you know, Dak is back for, um, you know, anyone that saw that my fantasy projections, um, they know I'm kind of high on Dak. Actually, I have the, I have him rated right up there um, with QB ones like Josh Allen, uh, Russell Wilson and company. I think he's going to put up numbers this year, but this isn't about season long fantasy numbers. It's about this one game here. And keep in mind, Dak was dealing with that right Latimus uh, strain. Um, which kept him off the preseason field all summer. So, again, I do think Dak will be fine this year, but I think it's going to take him a couple games to get going. Um, and really, you know, the reason I like Tampa Bay, it's more about the other side of the ball and how they match up, how Dallas matches up against the Bucks, um offense. You know, this Cowboys defense that ranked in the bottom third overall last season. And, you know, similar to their offense, I think defensively, they will be much improved this year, but it's going to take some time. Um, the Cowboys made six straight draft selections on defense. All of them were in the side uh, of the top 120 picks. So I really like their first round draft pick, Mika Parsons, uh, the linebacker there combined with Van Der Esch is a pretty good linebacking duo, but Parsons is a rookie. Van Der Esch missed 13 games the past two years with injuries. So uh, the theme with the Cowboys is just potential. The Bucks have already proved now. So I have the Bucks minus seven, and I bet them a few days ago, actually on Sunday, last Sunday, I bet them. But um, it's going to be an official daily play here. But here's the tricky part. The Bucks are already at minus eight. By the time you see this video, they could even be minus eight and a half. I still like them at that number uh, and think they win by double digits. But going forward, how we'll do this is any NFL bets I make, um, I'll first post in the Discord channel, but I'll also text out any bets I like enough to qualify as daily plays. Um, I also have the Bucks in a couple teasers uh, because the Bucks do fit the optimal teaser strategy. And if you're unaware of what that is, I made a video on teasers and the rules to increase your edge on teasers. I'll link it above in the top right corner now. Uh, remember, teasers are generally not good bets or sucker bets unless you're using what's called the Wong teaser rules. And it's all explained in the video I did. Um, now, I don't have a play on the total uh, because I'm conflicted. Normally, I like to look towards unders early season in September NFL, especially first half unders. Um, you know, the starters don't normally get a ton of reps preseason. So, um, you know, there's like a feeling out process in these early season games. The public is very involved in betting and exciting. Uh, excited to get bets in and um, you know they love betting overs which usually inflates the totals providing value on the under but the game is changing man scoring has spiked pretty dramatically in the last two years the rules have played a big role in this too um, you know the uh, the refs are protecting quarterbacks and not calling offensive holding completion percentages are way up um, compared to the average it's a pass happy league now. Every team has gone to 11 personnel, which is basically three wide receiver sets, one running back, one tight end, hence 11 personnel. Uh, and the bottom line, the NFL wants scoring. So I'm going to be very selective on when I bet unders. And if you look at the Discord community, um, best bet channel, I actually have two over bets already on Sunday. Um, so I'll be looking more towards overs in general, uh, but I have nothing on this total in this game here. Um, Besides the Bucks, I have um, a couple baseball plays I'm going to be sending out um, with the tech service. Um, going White Sox, Royals, and I think another one I'm going to send out. But um, that is going to do it for now. I'm going Bucks here for the official daily play. Um, if you can get eight, I still like it there. I think they win pretty easily. Um, but that's going to do it for me today. Until next time, good luck with all your bets. And as always, may all the ums calls and all the loose balls go your way.